Hello everyone, welcome you all to a new video. In this video, we are going to tackle a vulnerable machine with a difficulty level easy that I have downloaded from Vulnhub. If you have not yet familiar with this Vulnhub, then watch out for my previous videos. Once you have downloaded it, you need to set up the server. It is pretty easy, you can easily set up the server within VirtualBox. Firstly, extract the zip file which has been downloaded from Vulnhub. As this file is in form of .vmdk format, so we need to create a new virtual machine. Name it as Topo, and then select the operating system type and version. Click Next and allocate RAM size for your virtual machine and click on Next. Now, select Use an existing virtual hard disk file and import the VMDK file that we have previously extracted. Once you are done with these, click on Setting and change the network adapter to the host only adapter. Make sure your Kali Linux machine, from where you perform the attack, and your vulnerable machine, are in the same network. Once you are done with the settings up, let's start the virtual machines. As you can notice, our vulnerable machine is ready, and we have got a login screen that prompts us to input the username and password. Enumeration Let's discover the IP address of the running server by using NetDiscover. From the scanning, we have discovered our target IP address, which is 192.168.162.4. Now, let's perform a network scan to detect what ports are open. Scanning the network is already known as an essential part of the enumeration process. This offers us the opportunity to better understand the attacking surface and design targeted attacks. As in most cases, we are going to use the famous NMAP tool where hyphen SC is used to perform a script scan using the default set of scripts, and hyphen SV enables version detection, which will detect what versions are running on what port. From the network scanning, we have spotted three open ports. Port 22 TCP running an SSH service, which means that if you have a valid credential, then it will be easy to gain login access to the server. Port 80 TCP running an HTTP service, which indicates that there is some vulnerable website being hosted. And the last one is 111 TCP running an RPC bind service, which seems to be not useful in terms of gaining access to the server. So let's take a look at the web content running on port 80. To look at the contents ourselves, we can open a web browser of our choice and navigate to the target's IP address in the URL bar at the top of the window. The running website might be created using Bootstrap. After analyzing, there is nothing to enumerate on the web page. There might be any hidden or hardly accessible directories and pages, and that can be done through directory busting. Using GoBuster as our tool of choice, we can use the following switches for the script to get the fastest, most accurate results. Where, DIR is used to specify the mode of enumeration, hyphen U is used to specify the target URL, and hyphen W is used to specify the path of the word list. 
As a result of directory busting, we obtained an admin page. Let's dig into this directory and find out if there is any sensitive information that might help us in foothold. Let's have a look. Foothold From the admin page, we obtain a text file that contains a password. Let's try to attempt login to gain access to the server with the help of the SSH client tool. To gain an SSH connection, we might have a username and password. From the note, we have obtained a password. If you have looked at it carefully, then you have noticed a username is also mentioned within the password. Let's have a look. Open a terminal and run SSH TED at the IP address of our target machine. Now enter the password. As you can notice, we got login successfully. Now move for post exploitation and try to get root access. Privilege escalation. The next step is escalating to the root user in order to gain the highest privileges on the system. Let's display the system information by running uname it command. The result seems to be like not vulnerable to this Debian version. Now, run this command to enumerate all binaries having SUID permissions. SUID or set owner user ID is special file permission for executable files which enables other users to run the file with the effective permissions of the file owner. As you can see, this command dumped all system binaries which having SUID permissions. In order to gain root access, I have two methods. Method 1, using mock. Mock is an interpreter for the awk programming language. The awk language is useful for the manipulation of data files, text retrieval and processing, and prototyping and experimenting with algorithms. By running the following command with mock to get the root shell. As usual, you can find the root flag from the root directory to complete the challenge. Method 2, using Python 2.7. You just need to run these interactive shell commands to obtain the root shell. Run the whoami command to verify whether the current user is root or not. In this way, you can gain root access to this type of vulnerability. Now, we have captured the root flag and now the challenge is completed. If you have any doubts or queries related to this video, you can write a comment in my comment section.